Hi guys, happy Wednesday. Happy, happy Wednesday. Happy, happy Wednesday. Happy, happy Wednesday. What's special about it? I'm off. That's what's special about it. Um, so right now I'm headed to Lidl. Today's Wednesday. The new sale started and they have a steam mop. And I have been wanting a steam mop, guys. I've just been looking for the best deal. Right now, Walmart has the Black & Decker steam mop um, for $39.99. Lowe's has it for the same price. The reviews, what I don't like about it is I want to be able to have more than one pad, okay? I think it only comes from one, and I'm not seeing, I'm pretty sure on Amazon I probably could find a pad. But people say the pad that they give you with the mop is not that great. So, I watched a couple of YouTube videos on this little mop, and there were some reviews. It even can be made a handheld, like a, a piece pops off and you can have a handheld steam if you want to do your curtains, windows, or whatever. So we're going to Lidl. It's $39.99 in my budget. And it comes with, I've seen a woman doing a review where she was cleaning her grout with it. Also, for dinner tonight, I'm feeling like tacos. So I need lettuce, fresh produce, and also... I talked to iSpy about maybe um, making Parker's dog food because we get him the refrigerated food from, it's in the refrigerator, from Fresh Pet or whatever. But I don't know. They say it's real chicken and stuff like that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to try it. So um, I was watching Thrifty Tiffany and she said she makes fellas, I think that's her dog's name, dog food. So we're going to try it. I mean, he eats table food too, to be honest with you. You can't eat around him without sharing. So, if we could save money and make his food, how long does it take to make some ground turkey? You know, even if I make two days worth at a time, it doesn't take long. So, killing a couple of birds with one stone. I also want to pop in Family Dollar. I need to change my shower curtains, okay? And I see the set I like there. It's a blue, like, abstract print. And, um, but it comes with the whole set, which I did not want. I just want the shower curtain. But, um... I'm just going to bite the dust. It's $15.99. And also see if they put out more seasonal items. When I was in there, I popped in there before work. They were starting to put out some items. So, Family Dollar, Lidl. It's crazy that Dollar Tree's not on the list. I'm excited because we're going to see my mom tomorrow. I haven't seen her. And I'm going to take her, her little things I've been collecting for her. And I'm anxious to pop in that. Ollie's by her. Tomorrow starts a new sale at Ollie's as well. It's just strange. Dollar Tree's not in the mix, guys. I'm not happy with what I'm seeing. It hasn't hit my stores yet. My stores really don't have anything new. I showed you all of the Easter. I'm not going to be repetitive and keep showing you the same boring stuff over and over again. If there's something new, I'll share it. I am working on a shop with me, but it's really light. It's really, it's really, really light because there hasn't been a lot of new um, but what I'm seeing on the West Coast, I think they just got plus, but they're giving them like $3 dupes. I seen a $3 spray deodorant from Extra Care and a $3 spray deodorant from Be Pure. Now, I love Be Pure. I have bought Extra Care products before, but I'm not paying $3 for a spray deodorant when I could go to Ollie's for $3.99 and get the Dove or um, there's another name brand spray deodorant that they have. I just I just can't see it. I just can't. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Um, even if they are making it like Family Dollar, Family Dollar has name brands. You understand what I'm saying? So um, I don't see Be Pure at Family Dollar. I don't see, I don't know if they have extra care at Family Dollar. I really don't, but they do have brands. Okay, so we have to see. But I Spy even offered today. He told me to get up, get dressed. He was going to take me all the way to Garner, which is a little bit further than the Raleigh stores because somebody messaged me on Instagram and said, you have to check out the Dollar Tree in Garner. He was willing to take me. I could have been comfortable in the passenger seat, but I just wasn't feeling it. He would have took me to Zebulon as well. I just, I just wasn't feeling it. So Lidl, Family Dollar, um... I think I'm going to wait till tomorrow to go to Ollie's. I'm waiting to see the new circular. They don't release it early like Aldi's and Lidl. You can get a sneak peek. They don't. So um, those are the two stores that I have on my radar. I did not forget about the monthly wow. I have it all together. I do have to go pick up something though. There's something from a store that I want to throw in the monthly wow. Um, so that 
announcement of the monthly wow will be coming up so i did not forget about that as guys don't think i forgot i do not forget i collect when i'm collecting i throw the stuff in there i try to put everything in the bag so this way when i'm ready to do the reveal i'm not searching so uh we're gonna hit the road let's go Hey guys, I have no confidence in the produce. If I can't really see it good, I don't have no confidence in the produce. But I'm going to need some tomatoes for my tacos. Um, and of course, shredded lettuce. So I'm going to get the best, uh, best by date, which is up to the 29th, even though it won't last that long. The price of tomatoes is crazy. Um, but I'm just going to go with the tomatoes on the vine. They do have some um, patio cushions or it says high back chair cushions here. Uh, some tiki torch oil. They put out their spring rug, $6.99. You can't beat it. They seem well made. I love that one with the flowers. Really pretty. And the lady up. Oh, the word welcome, they messed it up. So, yeah, the word welcome with the ladybugs. And they do have some porch leaners for $12.99. Instead of the tomatoes, I'm just going to get some fresh pico de gallo. Um, this way, I don't have to chop them up. I love coming to the special buy section at Lidl and Aldi's. That's like the highlight of the reason why I go to these stores for their special buy. So, they have some body care items. Um... They have some Shea Moisture for $10.97. So when I see it at um, Ollie's for $3.99, that is a great price. So they have some foot files, a whole bunch of, um, you know, things. The art supplies, That's this. they have this oil paint, and they even have some canvases, markers, even this really cute easel for a kid. That's pretty cool, an art easel. But I think with the prices, guys... For some of their art supplies i know i know we can do better but i came here for the steam mop so i'm just quickly browsing and here it is well they have a handheld vacuum and then here is the steam mop from silver crest if you're interested there are several youtube videos thankfully that made me make my final decision either it's um for the floor or the front part of it actually pops off and you can use it as a handheld to do your windows to do curtains furniture um it is corded they have this drawer organizer set for $14.99 I know for a fact that we can do better um in my opinion I think you can do better they even have this storage ottoman for $17.99 and bamboo sheets $29.99 I don't know how they usually cost they even have a bamboo mattress protector they have this footrest they say this is a great position when you're using the bathroom this is the perfect position to be in this I'm just telling you what they're saying now all these years we didn't have it but now they're pushing that I've seen it in several different stores um, they have a battery tester for five and they have some apparel nothing in plus size so for Parker I'm going to be getting some ground turkey look at the prices for the family pack of ground turkey $13.74 I remember when it was $8.99 what is $13.74 uh, they have this uh, Faberware canister set $9.99 you're getting three pieces they have a lot of Fab Faberware uh, items guys from Tupperware to even utensils. So they have a lot of items. One thing about Lidl, I'll say they have more name brand stuff than Aldi's. Aldi's just usually has their brand. So they have pots on sale this week, cast iron frying pans. Um, again, more Faberware utensils. Ollie's has a lot of them as well. And their prices are better. I even see better prices at TJ Maxx, to be honest. They have this bamboo cutting board with this uh, plastic container. So I guess after you chop it, you can put the food there. Um, breakfast cups for yogurt parfait. Dollar Tree has a nice one for $1.25. They have the vegetable spiralizer for $4.99. This collapsible bowl. Okay, if you're making a large fruit salad or salad. Um, so collapsible bowl. And they even have this collapsible 
basket. It seems like it's the same size as the Dollar Tree one, to be honest with you. I did not know Shaq had alkaline water. So you can get a case, six two liter bottles of Shaq's alkaline water for 10 and change. And again, here are some body care products and they do have their brand, but they also have a lot of name brands. So this CN, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, seems to be their store brand. I'm seeing a lot of products there. This citrus body wash actually smells amazing, but I do not need any more body wash. Here's another variety. They have Dial. So they have a, a variety of name brand plus their brands in their section. But again, I really don't come to Lidl for these type of items. I come for the special buys. And while I'm in there, if I need something to cook, they have this hand cream marked down to 99 cents. And that's all she wrote. So the first mission has been accomplished. It's kind of heavy. <laughs> I got my steam mop. So you see how they have it like handheld also. It, it looks intimidating to put together, but I seen a video where she was using this to clean in between the grouts. Um, it only comes with two pads. I wish they sold extra pads. I would have bought them. Um, I really like it. Maybe I can find some that fit on Amazon because only two. If I do one for upstairs, downstairs, and you have to wash them. Um, I'm hoping to find more pads, guys. If you sign up for the app, you get $5 off. I didn't have the app, so I got $5 off. So, got my mop. That's something I have been wanting for a while, guys. And while I was in there, I googled the recipe how to make the homemade dog food. So for um, Parker, I got some ground turkey. They said, um, you know, you can use whatever protein you want. Um, ground turkey, did you see those prices? Oh my God. So for tacos, I got some garden vegetable rice with bell pepper. I'll zhuzh it up. So we'll have some rice on the side. I got some pico de gallo plus pineapple salsa i love mango salsa target makes one it's i think it's mango and pineapple but i love pineapple or mango salsa i do love that very yummy i also got these mixed vegetables to go with parker's dog food i uh, might mash up a sweet potato i got sour cream they have a little brand but i tried the little brand of cheese and did not like it so i'm gonna stick to what i know and of course shredded lettuce also got this taco kit that has a combination of soft and hard shells so you're getting six soft six hard plus it comes with their taco sauce and seasoning i make my own seasoning i already have the ground beef at home um i'm going across the street probably and get me some coffee from seven brew with the food in the car i don't can't be gone too long um so yeah i might have to do family dollar a little bit later but this is this is it guys we're shopping we're hopping okay i went across the street seven brews directly across the street from lido so i got my coffee and we're going to pop in family dollar which i'm going to go to the one closest to my house being that i have cold food i don't want to be gone too long and let's see what they have guys um it's a hit or miss <laughs> with uh just like Dollar Tree, Dollar Generals are the same way. I have some great Dollar Generals and I have some, unfortunately, the Family Dollar and the Dollar General closest to me are ahead of us. But I do find things, so. Um, but still, I mean, it's not the most clean, organized. You get it. You get it, okay? So we are on the road, headed to Family Dollar. <laughs> so they have 50 percent off of clearance of valentine's day and starting to put out their summer toys this is a diy wood sign for three and they have ready to grab and go easter baskets ten dollars grass is a dollar here they have the foodie pears so this is their version of coffee and a donut these are five bacon and eggs 
Here is peanut butter and jelly, and they're much bigger than um, the ones that Dollar Tree had. So they have some Easter basket bags, but you're only getting one bag. Dollar Tree's giving you two for $1.25. They have grab and go $10 Easter baskets. I've never liked, um, they have some $5 ones and some $10 ones, guys. I've never liked those grab and go Easter baskets. It's just grass in a basket and very limited. You could open it and add more to it if you wanted to. Um, but they also have these $5 baskets. And I feel like Dollar Tree gave us a $1.25 version of the bunny ears one. Um, candy. They have some Easter candy out. Similar pricing um, to Dollar Tree. They even have this sparkling cider on clearance. But those bottles look old as dirt. Um, but yeah, some higher pricing, some dollar items, some dollar twenty-five items. They have these Easter stickers. Um, so you just have to pick through. I think Dollar Tree's candy is the best deal because even at Dollar General, they have you know candy that's more than a dollar twenty-five as well. But here's all I'm seeing. This looks like some Christmas clearance, some Valentine's clearance. Um, you can pick through. If you see that at your local stores, those cookies and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, they have this cute napkin set. So you're getting 16 napkins that says Happy Easter. And they do have the coordinating paper plates, eight plates for $1.25. Um, in the lawn and garden section for $3. Look how beautiful this is, guys. That's absolutely beautiful. You can hang that up. They even have these. Um, this B one says, Welcome to our hives. The ladybug says, Welcome to our home. Even these are very, very pretty. And that looks like stained glass or blown glass. I'm pretty sure it's just plastic. They have either the birds or the hanging butterflies. Flowers this year, let's just say that it's just off. I'm not seeing any nice flowers. Dollar General actually has the better looking flowers to me. They have these motion activated little pets. So this is a cow. You can put it outside. Um, it says outdoor um, designs. And then they have that little pig, I guess, in your little garden. When somebody walks up, it'll make noise. They have some spray bottles. They even have these 125 solar light bulbs, um, hanging light bulbs. And they did have these last year. So if you want to, you know, hang them, if you have a pergola or something like that, or canopy, they even have those planting baskets and these hanging uh, solar lanterns. I believe Dollar Tree has the black ones. I haven't seen Dollar Tree with the white ones. These solar light bulbs are larger. And if I was to get any, I would get these because they're much bigger than the other ones. Um, they also have these hanging birds. And I believe that they have, you know, different ones. Um, to choose from. Here's a B. Where would you hang them? You could even embellish a wreath with them if you wanted to. Um, they do have the hummingbird feeders, the same ones that Dollar Tree has for $1.25. And they have some more steak lights. They have the ones I see at Dollar Tree. And if you want to spend a little bit of money, they have some nicer $3 ones. So you do have some variety. They also have some metal steak flowers. Those are $3 as well. And they have the solar mushroom lights, some frogs that you could stick in your garden. Um, I think they all come, that whole piece comes together and it spells out welcome. They even have the faux blown glass um, solar flowers. They're, I say faux because they're plastic. They look like glass. And they even have these really cute grab and go butterfly wreaths. So you either can get the purple or the pink and they do have... Um, these really, really cute $5 um, fake plant baskets. And I have bought them before. Just sprayed them really good uh, because they do fade. And I believe at uh, the Smithfield Dollar Tree, I've seen these. I have not seen these in my Dollar Tree Plus section, but I believe they had these. They say bloom. Um, it's in a wood frame. And they do have these $5 outdoor uh, plant stands for $3.00 etc etc as you can see here are their uh porch leaners for those of you who do not have a dollar tree plus yet family dollar has the porch leaners for five but they cannot get wet i'm seeing a huge bottle of insuino fabric softener 105 loads for 850 and as you can see their other brand name laundry detergent 
um, is here, the Suavitrol Big Bottles. And this is what I came for, guys. I absolutely love this blue abstract fabric shower curtain. It comes with the matching rug and the um, hooks. I'm not a fan of the hooks, but I mean, it's $15. They do have some Global Beauty uh, skincare products um, that I have never seen before in my life. So for $2, they have a whole bunch of different serums. The neck firming cream I found at Dollar Tree for $1.25. They have it for $1.50. They do have an eye cream and they have a pineapple facial cleaner and also a strawberry glow um, moisturizer uh, for, I don't know, I think it's $5. Um, then they have another facial cleaner they do have these lippies it's a duo lip color it comes with the lip liner and the uh lip color for two dollars from la colors um i'm only seeing two different colors they have this like neutral color also as well not bad this is where i get my la colors auto brow pencil from um from family dollar okay guys i got the LA Colors Lip Contour. It's a dual lip color. Believe it or not, I put it on. So one is a liner and then one you fill in. This is the part, the fatter part that you fill in. And then this is the liner. I mean, I really... I guess the liner is a little... bit darker I like it I like it um two dollars as much as Dollar Tree LA colors us to death they don't carry this and I almost bought that reach um auto brow pencil that's where I get my brow pencil from hold on I actually have one in my car I love these these are only a dollar at family dollar Dollar Tree's never given us the auto brow pencil the color is dark brown I got to the register. I had it with me when I looked. It said medium brown. I don't know what medium brown looks like. I'd rather stick to what I know. But it's just a retractable brow pencil. They last forever. So I told you earlier that I have four family dollars in town. I forgot about another location. I have five family dollars in town. So I'm good right now. But I want to, if I could stock up and get another two, I will. So I did not get it. So I ended up also getting... I like to keep one in my car. What else did I get? Hold on. Hold on. I got some uh, Lash Glue from Kiss. It's Secure Holds Hyper Allogenic with Aloe. Um, I have been using the, um, God, the Lash Glue liners from Ioni. But if I want a longer hold and a more secure hold, um, I like to use this, okay? So I did get those two from the cosmetic section. I didn't get any of the Global Beauty skincare items. I was looking at that Watermelon Glow Moisturizer, but right now I'm using the Be Pure Glow. And um, if that runs out, maybe I'll consider it. It was $5, but they were having a sale. If you buy two, you get a dollar off or something. But that would mean I'm paying 10 right? And then they'll take off a dollar? No. Um, and again, I have so much skincare products, guys, so much, but I got what I came for. So I'm happy. The, the goal was to get my shower curtains for my upstairs bathroom and my steam mop and, uh, dinner to cook. So I think I met my today's shopping goals, but look how pretty these fabric abstract marble type curtains are. They're going to look so pretty in my bathroom and the bonus that came with the rug. Okay. $15. I got the shower curtain hooks, which I'm over those hooks. I think they're so dated. I may look for different hooks. Um, I got my fabric shower curtains, and I got a microfiber rug, okay? Um, so, you know what? This kind of works out because I'll have a switch-up rug because I bought a blue rug already for my bathroom. So, in between, I can wash one, put the fresh one down or whatever. So, it's not a bad thing, but uh, I didn't want to spend more than $10. I'm not going to lie. That was $15. Okay, Amazon had some like abstract ones like that, but Amazon has catfished me on colors more than once. You see something, it looks vibrant, it looks a certain shade, you get it, and then it's a different thing. So I've seen this in the flesh. I don't know why I didn't buy it when I first seen it because there was only two left, and I'm glad they had two because one of the rugs had strings from it, um, and I like to pick 
the best one. I'm paying for it, right? So that is it, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'm going home making, uh, I got to take the ground beef for my tacos out of the freezer. And I'm going to make Parker's dog food. And we're going to go catch a... Uh, early afternoon movie we have a brand new movie theater in Greenville it's an IMAX theater state of the art um, self-serve popcorn I'm excited about because you know when you go to the movies they fill that big tub of popcorn up and you only can butter the top then you're in the movie theater and then you got a half a tub full of dry popcorn this way I'll be able to layer the butter in between it's heated seats recliners which our other movie theater has recliners but they're not heated it has tray tables um state-of-the-art so we're excited to go check it out and that's it guys thanks for rocking with your girl thanks for hanging out with me today i have a massive dollar general haul coming up um i did show the walkthrough but i did get a lot of things and uh, <laughs> I'm working on Dollar Tree, guys. I do have some footage, but it's not enough for like a decent sized haul or walkthrough, really. But at this point, <laughs> I might just, just show you what I got. Um, and that's it, guys. Uh, I will be headed to a road trip Ollie's tomorrow when I go see my mom. So I'm hoping to see some new things. And that's it, guys. That's all I have going on. Um, I got to finish the gingerbread DIYs, too. So I will share that with you as well. And we have the monthly wow for February coming up soon. You got to watch. And congratulations to Mary Mullins. She is a glamma once again. A healthy baby boy was born so congratulations to you mary i fell asleep after i uploaded that video last night i did respond back but it was like three o'clock in the morning when i wake up when i woke up but congratulations mary congratulations being a grandma is a beautiful thing i miss my grand i miss my grandbaby i have to get to new york i'm trying to see when i can go i have to enough excuses i have to make it up there i also want to meet my new grandson that was born in december and my son asked me when am I coming so I hope to be in New York um sneak up there March early April because I want to see them um video chats and pictures and phone calls is, it, nothing beats face to face flesh to flesh hug kiss nothing beats that so thanks for rocking with your girl I will see you in the next video let me know guys what are you doing are you still going to Dollar Tree are you going other places do you care about what's going on and <laughs> did you say the hell with them I don't know let me know I'll see you guys take care bye-bye